Well, first of all, I was I was very expectant, uh, and I have been expectant just like any Ghanaian. Um, once we qualified for the Mundial, we, we, we knew we deserved to have a feel of the trophy, even before we were in plane, to start the battles to bring the trophy permanently here. Um, so the country has been expectant, and I'm extremely happy that the beautiful aircraft has finally landed. Um, we will have a feel of the trophy, we will think about the trophy, and we will strategize to bring the trophy back here again. And uh, looking, look, looking at uh, you know ev all the excitement that we have, obviously it, 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 it tells it tells a story about how Ghanaians still love the beautiful game and um, looking forward to the Black Stars participating at the World Cup. We've always loved our football. Um, unfortunately, we moved, we, we 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 missed out at the Mundial in 2018, but we've always yearned to be there, and uh, I'm I'm happy that the works and hard work of the players have resulted in we being at the Mundial again. This is the stage we belong to. When you look at the level of excitement here, finally, before I let you go, when you look at the level of excitement here, does it, does it give you any inclination of what the people expect of you at the World Cup? Well, um, people expect Team Ghana uh, to play good football and to be extremely competitive. I mean, in the last time we had the Mundial, uh, we didn't write a good history, and I think that it's about time we did it. We corrected all the wrongs, and uh, I, be I believe that the team is ready, and the team will be ready, and the team will make Ghana proud. All right, so on that note, of course, we've been speaking to the president of the Ghana Football Association, Mr. Ketu Kriku, assuring Ghanaians that all the uh, back stories, all the back, uh, back, the back room work will be done to make sure that Ghana excels at the upcoming World Cup in Qatar. We are still here at the Kutuka International Airport, and of course, we are still bringing you all the frenzied atmosphere here. Of course, the people that um, you know, have come in here to witness the World Cup for the very first time, perhaps in their lives. you know, comes to Ghana as planned and as promised. It is here. You've had already a first view of it. And uh, we are going to be looking at what this will mean, uh, you know, for those involved, because the setup is being done. The trophy will come down from the plane after the first viewing for the exclusive people that have had access to seeing it already. And then there is going to be the, the first public viewing of the FIFA World Cup here at the Kotoka International Airport before every other arrangement also follows. Remember, there is going to be um, you know, a conversation with the uh, media right after this here in Accra. And then there is also going to be that special exclusive interview with the ambassador, uh, David Trizige, right here on TV3 at 2.30. Make a date with us. Really do not rem uh, forget that. But as you can see behind me, it is the, um, the uh, trophy platform that has already been set up because this is where the trophy is going to go once it touches down on... Uh, our soil.
6.14 kilograms pure solid gold the original trophy not the replica the original one i want to take this opportunity to welcome you and let me just you know go by the tradition that we have in ghana from the left is it this way okay so i want to introduce this beautiful lady I have Nathan Kwao with me here who would help the interpretation once you know David speaks. Okay, so without any much ado, I want to call on uh, Rodri to just share a few remarks with us. Thank you. Hello? Hello? 
Hello? Okay. Honorable Minister of Sports and Youth, um, representative of the government, uh, FIFA delegates and partners, football legend David Trezegui, GFA president, my colleagues from the Coca-Cola system, members of the media, esteemed guests, all protocol observe. Good afternoon. Welcome to this special ceremony of the arrival of the most recognized symbol of sports of all time, the FIFA World Cup trophy. The beautiful FIFA World Cup trophy is finally here in Ghana. Once again, Coca-Cola is thrilled to be closely working with FIFA on this global tour of taking the real magic of the FIFA World Cup across the globe. This year, Ghana is the first African qualified country that is hosting the trophy. In the coming days, the trophy will go to Senegal, Cameroon, then Morocco, and Tunisia. Since our partnership with FIFA dates back from 1978, Coca-Cola has proudly led from the front in enhancing and taking consumers' experience across all FIFA competitors competition to the next level. Through our appreciation of our consumers and FIFA passion for football fans, we have successfully established a common purpose to jointly serving the game. This is where fans have been able to connect and share their passion for football while enjoying the um, ice cold and refreshing taste of Coca-Cola. For us at the Coca-Cola, the FIFA World Cup Trophy to recognize the significance of a global event such as the World Cup Trophy. As a result, I believe is that the magical feeling that comes with the FIFA World Cup trophy must be experienced by consumers and fans and relevant stakeholders across the world, irrespective of their race, gender, and creed. So for this reason, Coca-Cola has pulled out at all the stops to ensure that this year FIFA World Cup trophy builds on the success of the previous ones. This is not the first time that we are hosting it here uh, in Ghana. So we also recognize that the past two years have been challenging for communities and in general uh, as well as uh, the game of football where the fan has been starved in direct interactions with the game. So while we have not completely recovered from the devastating effect of the uh, pandemic, we would like to believe that football is on its recovery phase where fans are gradually returning in their numbers to their favorite arenas. So this year, Coca-Cola will, will be bringing the magic to fans during the store through an exciting fan experience in Ghana at the Accra Polo Club tomorrow, where fans will have the opportunity to get closer to the iconic FIFA World Cup trophy while enjoying entertainment from some of the Ghanaian great performing artists. So ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful experience of the FIFA World Cup Trophy Tour remains important to the Coca-Cola, the FIFA, 
and the entire football fraternity. It gives me the pleasure to thank all our partners, the FIFA, Kia, who has been helping us throughout the journey, and also all the press, the media, uh, as well as the government of Ghana, uh, Honorable Minister, uh, GFA President, for all the support that we've got throughout the journey up to now. So thank you very much, and uh, wishing you a very magic experience with the trophy. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rodrigue. Patricia, some few statements you want to share? The president of the Ghana Football Association, my colleagues from the Coca-Cola system, members of the media, esteemed guests, all protocols observed. I'd like to say thank you for attending the event. But the reason I'm speaking is because I thought that this um, FIFA World Cup Trophy Tour provided us with a great opportunity to reinforce the importance that Coca-Cola places on prioritizing our sustainability goals as a business. And we launched, in January, we launched a sustainability platform across Africa. It's called Jami. Was Okay, I don't think that signal was for me. I think someone was blocking me. <laughs> it's called Jami, and Jami is a Swahili word that means community. It talks about society and people. And um, through our sustainability platform across Africa and our collaborative partnerships with the Coca-Cola Foundation and our bottling partners across Africa, we are driving sustainable development and growth on the continent. So this uh, platform builds on three strategic pillars in areas where we've had significant accomplishments across the continent, and that's water security, waste management, and the economic empowerment of women and youth. It feeds into Coca-Cola's ultimate purpose of refreshing the world and making a difference, especially the making a difference part. And, um, in Ghana, it's no different. Even for this event, we're partnering with a recycling company called Repattern to make sure that as we enjoy um, Coca-Cola's lovely beverages, as you enjoy our loved brands, that we're also making sure that the waste is adequately collected and taken to the appropriate recycling facilities. So this is just um, an example of the commitment that we have to providing a sustainable um, future. And, and this continues. We continue to source our products locally. We continue to operate in a sustainable way, not just during the trophy tour, but um, moving forward after that and beyond. Now, um, that's done for the sustainability piece, but I don't think we can thank enough all the people that have made this possible. And celebrating this World Cup Trophy Tour today is only possible thanks to the government of Ghana, thanks to FIFA, the Ghana Football Association, the football legends, and especially with David Trezeguet, our customers, the media, and of course the fans of the game, and our local bottling partners. And I want to call them out by name because they're not speaking here today, but they do the bulk of the, um, the work on the brand on the, um, in Ghana. So I'll call out specifically the Coca-Cola bottling company, Ghana Limited, led by Felix Gomez. Felix, thanks for being with us here um, today. And Coca-Cola Beverages Africa, Baltic Ghana Limited, which is led by Flora Zeka. So thank you, Flora. Now we recognize and celebrate our fellow partners such as Hisense, Kia, we've been driven around, ferried around in the beautiful Kia cars. And um, they bring their own brand of magic to the beloved FIFA World Cup. 
So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, we extend our heartfelt gratitude once again for your continued support and we trust that you will enjoy the thrill of experiencing the magic of the FIFA World Cup trophy tour by Coca-Cola over the next few days. Thanks for your time and attention. Okay, so thank you, Hisense, GFA, Minister of Youth and Sports, Rana Motors, we are grateful for you being partners. Thank you. My Director General of the National Sports Authority, my friends from the conventional entertainment industry, some are here playing double roles. My friends from the media, on behalf of the Executive Council of the Football Association, I will say that uh, we are extremely happy to welcome, for the first time this year, obviously, the World Cup trophy. It is a trophy we have been yearning to see. It is a trophy we've been yearning to feel. And it is a trophy we hope to touch. I, I believe that Team Ghana will be ready come November. Team Ghana will be very, very competitive. And when I say Team Ghana will be very, very competitive, I hope all of us here understand exactly what I mean. We will be very, very competitive. Our singular determination is to go out of the group. And once we come out of the group, the rest is open for everybody. We are to rewrite history. And everybody who will be in that contingent to the Mundial in November will be ready when the alarm bells ring. We are Ghana. And we will show to the world that we are Ghana. Let us believe. Let us stand united behind the team like ever before. I remember my clarion call to Ghana before we played the two qualification games against Nigeria. My appeal was very simple. This is our black stars. We have to be supportive of our black stars. Indeed, Ghana stood up as a unit, as a family, and we supported our black stars, and we clinched that singular slot for the Mundial. Again, Ghana will stand firm, shoulder to shoulder with all of us, and our black stars will make our nation great and strong. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. Indeed, we need to support our black stars. So we have our FIFA legend here, David Trezeguet. You want to share just a few words with us? Okay, so Nathan, you do as the honest to interpret. All right. De, pardon, je sens le rêve de, de, de chaque personne. Et à chaque fois que j'ai la possibilité de, de venir avec Coca-Cola et FIFA, on sent, on sent la fierté, on sent la volonté de, de voir un trophée. Oh, ça devient un rêve quand on est, on est gamin, quand on est, quand on est professionnel, quand on est supporter, quand on aime son pays. À partir de là, encore une fois, c'est ma première fois au Ghana, je sens la l'émotion et la fierté de, de tout un pays euh, pour être protagoniste à la prochaine Coupe du Monde. It's, uh, it, when I travel around, it's a bit of a dream for players, for fans, for everybody to think of the World Cup and have the World Cup in their country. And he says, look, it's his first time here, he's happy to be, and he can sense the emotion, the joy, the excitement, and for the fact that fans will get to see the World Cup, and he's even happy knowing that Ghana is a country that wants to go to the World Cup and do well and be amongst the big teams at the World Cup. Okay, great. So he was you know, one of the team members that won the 1998 you know, FIFA World Cup. You know, so um, how was it you know, for I mean, becoming a world champion at such a young age? David, je veux savoir comment vous vous sentez quand, quand vous êtes devenu champion du monde en 1998. Vous avez battu le Brésil dans, dans cette finale, je me rappelle. Comment étaient vos sentiments, le moment où tu, tu étais sur le terrain avec coéquipier et puis l'habitat sifflé, vous êtes devenu champion du monde, ça, ça sent comment Mais Déjà sans oublier que la Coupe du Monde 98, ça a été en France, ça veut dire qu'on était dans notre, notre pays. C'était à domicile. Et une fierté, l'idée le, le, de, 
d'accomplir de, de, le rêve avec son, son pays, c'est exceptionnel. À l'époque, j'avais 20 ans, le temps, le temps il est passé, mais euh, ça reste, euh, je ne sais pas si dire le souvenir, mais c'est le rêve qu'on a envie d'accomplir. Et, et moi, ça a été réel, et ça a été... Euh, une folie exceptionnelle euh, par rapport à toute la France. Um, it, it was a it was a great time. It was a dream come true for them to win the World Cup. Personally, more want to French no kind. I mean, I can I can say you said the right thing. If you were doubting him, no, he said the right thing. Yeah. Thank you all for being here. Hisense Ghana is proud of Ghanaians and proud of the Black Stars. We are ready to give our support as we are doing um, to the Black Stars and we will urge every Ghanaian to pray for the Black Stars. I'm looking and feeling the, the cup right now. Um, it represents Ghana because it's full of gold and Ghana is the land of gold. We need it back. We need our cup back. Yes. We need it back. So on behalf of High Sense, my brother can promise the five star general. As you know, five star is represent high sense. We give five years warranty on our product. So I also plead that every Ghanaian get high sense television so you can clearly enjoy the football. I mean this game. And hope to see some of us all in Qatar. We are ready to support the Black Stars. We are going with them and we hope to come back home with a cup. Thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Applause. Let's feel the excitement. Let's feel the excitement. The trophy is finally here. You can see it is glistering. Thank you. Thank you so very much for making the time to be with us here. We so much appreciate it. Thank you to our partners, Hisense, Kia Motors, Rana Motors, GFA, Ministry of Youth and Sports.